dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, dear families, I am delighted to be with you this afternoon. Dragi brati in sestre, dragi mužine in žene, dragi družine, zelo sem vesel, da sem lahko to popovodne z vami. I had to come and preside the Holy Mass, but it is my brother, the abbot of this abbey, who had done it, and I am sure it was well done, and the sacrament is licit and valid. Thank you. Hvala lepa, moral bi bil sicer pred buditi to sveto mašo, pa je gospod opad to nalogo zelo lepo in častno in tudi vredno opravil. I came a little bit late because I was in Koper and had to preside at the celebration of the proclamation of St. Jerome as patron of the Diocese of Koper. Moral sem namreč biti v Kopru in biti prisoden oziroma predsedovati Sveti Maši, kjer je bil Sveti Hieronim proglašen za zavetnika Škofije Kober. So it was a very important and ecclesial moment for the diocesan life of Kober. Šlo je torej za zelo pomemben. And I represented there the Holy Father, so I represent it with you and before you now. In šlo je za zelo pomemben dogodek crkveni in škofijski in tam sem na njem predstavljal svetega očeta, tako kot ga tudi tukaj danes med vami. I informed the Holy Father that you invite the Apostolic Nuncio to your meeting. Svetega očeta sem tudi obvestil, da ste na to vaše srečenje povabili mene Nuncija. And he was very happy. Bil je zelo vesel in zadovoljen. And he told me you are only doing your normal duty. And he said me that I am doing only my normal duty. And I am very happy to be with you at the end of this day, this afternoon, to pass few moments, moments with you. And I hope that after the Holy Mass we have uh, some occasion to exchange a little bit because you not meet the Nuncio each day. In si zelo želim, da bi prav ob koncu Svete Maše lahko z vami preživil nekaj trenutkov v pogovoru. I want to just, just to thanks God for each one of you. Pravzaprav bi se rad lahko, rad le Bogu zahvalil za vsakogar od vas. You are the holy people of God. Vi ste Božje ljudstvo. You are the church from today. In vi ste cirko današnjega časa. And you are the church from tomorrow. In vi ste cirko prihodnosti. You are the life in the church. If we receive in the Holy Mass and in the sacrament the divine and the holy life by the nearness of God, through you, God continue his human life. Če bomo, tako kot smo danes pri sakramentu Svete Maše, sprejeli Božje življenje v naša življenja, bo Bog po vaših življenjih nadaljeval svoje življenje v tem svetu. And through you, God continues the commitment between himself and humanity. In tako prav skozi vas, Bog nadaljuje svojo obljubo, svojo zavezo, ki jo je dal človeštvo. You know, our God is absolutely amazing. Veste, naš Bog je preprosto neverjetno čudovit. And after 2000 years, we still not know him well. In po 2000 letih ga še vedno ne poznamo po vsem dobro. And thanks God, he is not selfish. In hvala Bogu za to, da ni sebičen. He not remain enclosed, enjailed in his divinity. Da ni ostal zaprt v svoji božanskosti. He send us his son, which became a human being, like you and me. Poslal nam je svojega sina, ki je postal človek, tako kot vi in kot jaz. And the words of Christ, which are human words, but with divine sense, open us the gates of heaven. In Jezusove, Kristusove besede, ki so človeške besede, spregovorjene z Božjim duhom, nas odpirajo in nam odpirajo pot do Boga. And St. Irenaeus, one of the greatest and the first theologians in our church said, Sveti Irenej, eden prvih in najpomembnejših teologov v naši crkvi, je rekel, Through Jesus Christ, 
a piece of human murder enter in the Holy Trinity. O Jezusu Kristusu je košček človeškega telesa vstopil v sveto trojico. Yes, we are earth. Ja, mi smo iz zemlje, mi smo zemlja, zemljani. And we are happy to be earth. In smo veseli, da smo lahko takšni. But this earth is not only a creation of God, this means good, but is called to, to holiness. Ampak mi smo samo tu zemski, ampak smo kot Božja stvarina poklicani k svetosti. In our church we have all kind of vocations. V naši crkvi imamo različne vrste poklicanosti, poklicov. Your vocation to be married to a family is noble and holy. Vaša poklicanost k temu, da ste poročeni, da imate družine, je plemenita in je sveta. And in the name of the Holy Father, in the name of God, I wish to encourage you. In v imenu Svetega očeta, in v imenu Boga, bi vas želel v tej vaši poklicanosti opogumiti. Because in the past, maybe you were tempted and we have done some mistakes. Believing that the church is only the clergy. This means the popes, the bishops, the priests, and of course nobody speak about the deacons. Se pravi, možno je, da smo naredili v preteklosti tudi napake in smo govorili zelo veliko o duhovnikih, tudi o diakonih in o drugih službah v crkvi. And I forget the monks. In pozabljamo na menike, na and we forget for nearly more than 1,000 years that we are faithful. Faithful which is living in the world, having families, having joys and problems, dealing with human necessities, needing to work for it and to progress and go forward na ljudi, ki živite v tem svetu, imate družine, imate otroke, službe, težave in skozi te težave morate nekako živeti svoje življenje, prosperirati in hkrati biti del crkve. And many times the bishops and the priests forget completely they are servants and they have to serve not only themselves but help the progress of all the faithful to go, to become nearer to God. In škofe in duhovniki pogosto pozabljajo, da je njihova osnovna naloga v tem, da pomagajo ljudem, ki živijo, da postanejo bolj Boži v običajno življenje. For that reason I believe myself, zato verujem, da jaz sam, that we have still to deepen our reflection about the vocation of the light. I not say faithful, because the bishop, the pope, the priest, the monks, they are faithful too, because we have only one good shepherd. Se pravi, moramo poglobiti naše razumevanje lajkov in vloge lajkov v crkvi, ker ne bom rekel vernih, zaradi tega, ker so tudi papež, škofi in duhovniki so verni. And we have to explore more and more and more the vocation of the lay people. In moramo vedno bolj in bolj in bolj raziskovati, kakšna je poklicanost lajkov. And this is very, very important. In to je zelo, zelo pomembno. And this was the case in the beginning of our church. In tako je bilo tudi na začetku naše crkve. Because Jesus himself was born inside the family. Jezus sam je bil rojen v družini. I think this time of illness, of pandemia, of corona, is a blessed time. Zdi se mi, da je ta čas korone in te epidemije nekakšen blagoslov za vse nas. Because we realize that suddenly it was impossible to participate as a Holy Mass. Ker smo se nenadoma zavedali, da je ne mogoče sodelovati pri Sveti Maši. It was impossible to participate at the Holy Week. Bilo je nemogoče sodelovati celo v obredju Velikega tedna. And this Pascal Tridum is such important for our faith. 
in to paschalno tri dnevje velike noči je tako zelo pomembno, pomemben del naše vire. And we not know how this year Christmas will be. Letos, na primer, ne vemo, kako bomo obhajali Božič. So, if the faith in this country, in this church, Slovenian church, continue and became deeper, torej, če naj se ta vera v tej cirkvi, v slovenski cirkvi, nadeljuje in tudi poglavlja, it is not only because we participate directly at the sacraments, but because, first of all, the good soil is the domestic church. Se pravi, ne bo to samo zaradi tega, ker lahko prisostujemo pri svetih zakramentih, ampak zaradi tega, ker bo šlo za močne, trdne čvrste domače cirkve. And the domestic church is constituted by laity and between laity by families. In domača cirkva je sestavljena iz lajko in med lajki iz družin. We cannot exclude the aged people. Iz tega ne moremo izlučiti starejših ljudi. We cannot exclude the couples. In ne moremo kar izločiti paro. We cannot exclude the couples in problems and we have so many. In ne moremo in ne smemo izključiti paro, ki imajo težave, ki jih je težave. We have to manifest them that God loved them. They are not excluded. Moramo jim povedati in pokazati, da jih Bog ljubi, da niso izključeni. You see how he's preaching well. And we cannot exclude young people too. In tudi mladi ljudi ne smemo izključevati. Please. Prosim. Please. Try to find the center of our faith. Prosim, poskušajte najti središče naše vrata. Try to come back to Jesus. Vračajte se k Jezusu. Few weeks ago I sent a letter to our bishops. Pred nekaj tedni sem poslal vašim škofom eno pismo. And I put the attention on the way the sacraments, most of all the Holy Mass, was celebrated in the time of coronavirus. V tem pismu sem se še posebej posvetil načinu, na kak je bil, kako je bila obhajena sveta maša v času koronavirusa oziroma. Of course, it was a case of emergency. We had the mess on Facebook, Twitter and I don't know what. Seveda je šlo za nujen in izreden primer in sveta maša je potekala preko Facebooka in Twitterja in tako naprej. And it was good. In to je bilo dobro. Because it helped our poor faith. Ker je šlo tu za ohranjene naše vere. But it not can become never ever the rule. Ampak to nikoli ne sme postati pravilo. Because the sacrament need the participation of a community and faithful ker zakrament vedno potrebuje sodelovanje skupnosti in vernih. A Holy Mass can not be something virtual, celebrated by a priest alone in his altar. Of course, you have the community of the saints and the angels, but the sacrament is here for the faithful with active participation. Maša ne sme nikoli postati nekaj virtualnega, kjer je duhovnik sam v cirkvi, seveda ima pri tem tudi družbo svetnikov in angelov, ampak sveta Maša kot zakrament predideva aktivno sodelovanje vernega ljudstva. And for this reason, in prav zaradi tega, it is very important for yourself to discover the sense of the community. Za nas povemno, da odkrijemo ta pomen skupnosti. And you will find it only in discovering the sense of this of the true sense of your couple in ta pomen skupnosti boste zares odkrili še le ko boste ni korona še le ko boste zares odkrili kaj pomeni moč para the sense of your couple the time of the passion maybe for some of you is past morda je za nekatere od parov tisti začetni čas strasti že minil. The daily life of a husband and of a wife. Dnevno življenje moža in dnevno življenje žene. The daily life of a father, of a mother. Očeta, matere. The daily life of a son and a daughter. Sina, včerke. And is this daily life we have to transform and to purify. To vsako dnevno življenje je tisto, ki ga moramo spremeniti in prečistiti. In something absolutely amazing, noble and holy. 
pe nekaj preprosto čudovitega, nekaj plemenitega, nekaj svetega. Our society is such void. Naša družba je postala tako prazna. It is such fade without test. Ljudje so brez upanja. I ask you to become in the name of Jesus Christ v imenu Jezusa Hristusa vas prosim, da postanete like a diamond inside the society. Znotraj te družbe kot diamanti. We Catholics, this is our vocation. Mi, katoličani, to je naša poklicanost. You couples, this is your vocation. Vi, zakonski pari, to je vaša poklicanost. I say you because I am not a wife. To pravim za vas, ker nima gospod žena, jaz se pa imam. Be noble. Budite plemeniti. Be transparent. Budite prosojni, transparenti. Be holy. Budite sveti. Go out of yourself. Pojdite čez sebe. I know that in the Slovenian culture, the big temptation is to be closed, to be afraid. Vem, da je v slovenski kulturi še posebej velika skušnjava, da se zapremo, da nas je strah. And we don't trust so much to the other ones. In tistim drugim ne zaupamo prav preveč. Just go out of yourself. Preprosto pojdite malo preko sebe. Open your hearts. Odprite svoja srca. You don't need to go outside with a cross like this and say, I am a Catholic, I am a Christian. Ni vam zdaj treba s transparenti iti ven pa mahati, jaz sem katolik, jaz sem kristijan. Be just yourself a good Catholic. This is enough. Budite preprosto to, kar ste. And your goodness will open the doors to questions. In vaša dobrota bo odprla vrata k vprašanjem. And the people will say, why these ones? In ljudje bodo rekli, zakaj pa te dva? Try to do good. Zakaj te dva poskušata delati dobro? They will ask themselves, why these couples are walking well? And my couple is not walking at all. Bojo rekli, zakaj pa tem parom stvari laufajo dobro, nama pa prav ne, njih najboljši. So, my dear brothers and sisters, your duty is huge. Zato, dragi brate in sestre, vaša dožnost je zelo velika. And if you want that God continue his life here in this country, in če želite, da Bog svoje življenje še naprej živi v tej deželi, take this burden on your shoulders, Morate vzeti to breme na svoje ramena. Not wait that the priest give you indications. In ne čakati na duhovnike, da vam bojo dali znak. Just go back to Jesus yourself. Each day, by the prayer, by the meditation. Prav vsak dan pojdite vi sami k Jezusu. By the frequentation of the sacraments. V premišljevanju, v sveti zakramenti. And I know that many times the priest try to do the best. You have a good preacher, you have a bad priest. But let this is not important at all. Vem, da duhovniki se trudijo in delajo s ponajboljših moči, včasih dobro, včasih slabo, ampak to dejansko sploh ni pomembno. Try to be holy yourself. Vi sami poskusite biti sveti. Such as you are. Tako kot tudi že ste. Go forward. In pojdite naprej. And try to contaminate the other ones, not by corona but by your goodness, by your holiness. In poskušajte okužiti druge, seveda ne s korono, ampak z vašo dobroto, z vašo svetostjo. Ok, I stop here, it is enough. Thank you. Bolj tukaj nekaj je dovolj.